Hello everyone. Welcome to today's tutorial. In the last tutorial, we learned how to represent numbers between 0 and 9. In today's tutorial, we'll extend that knowledge and represent numbers between 10 and 99. Right hand represents 1's place value and the left hand represents 10 place value. So, and each finger represents value 1 and the thumb represents value 5 as we learned in the previous tutorial. Let's consider some examples. Let's take number 10. 10 has uh, 1 10 and 0 1's. So we have 0 fingers on uh, right hand side and 1 finger on the left hand side. Next consider number 11. So we have 1 10 and 1 1's. So one finger on the right and one finger on the left. Next consider number 12. So we have one tens and two ones. So two fingers on the right hand side and one finger on the left hand side. Let's now consider number 15. So 15 has one tens and five ones. So five is thumb on the right hand side and one finger on the left hand side. Let's consider number 20. 20 has two tens, right? So two tens is two fingers on the left and zero uh, ones. So that means zero fingers on the right hand side. Let's consider number 22. So two ones and two tens. Two ones means two fingers on the right and two fingers on the left hand side. Let's consider number 50. 50 means five tens and zero ones. So five tens means a thumb on the left hand side and zero finger on the right hand side. Let's consider number 52. So 52 means five tens and two ones. So five tens means we, uh, we have a thumb on the left hand side and two ones mean two fingers on the right hand side. Let's consider number 77. So 77 is seven tens and seven ones. So seven tens mean a thumb and two fingers on the left hand side and seven ones means a thumb and two fingers on the right hand side. Let's consider number 98, right? 98 means nine tens and eight ones. So nine tens means all the fingers plus thumb on the left hand side and eight ones means on the right hand side we have a thumb and three fingers. This is how we represent numbers between zero and 99. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Now I encourage you to practice the assignments in the link provided in the description below. Thank you for watching this tutorial.